Well, how's it going this evening? So, kind of tinkering away here. This is the under, the fleshy underbelly of the uh, <laughs> Helicrafter S40B. And we're kind of just tinkering around in here. We're looking this over. There's a lot of uh, issues in this baby. This has uh, had a lot of work done on it. These have uh, all been replaced. Not by me. These are old repairs. You know, a radio this old that hasn't went, had at least one trip to the shop or, you know, under the knife is uh, pretty much a miracle. Anyway, we're kind of tinkering around here. I'm getting it to work. So what I've done so far, just to bring up to speed, I had a lot of dirt in these contacts and this is the band switch here. So I've been cleaning and I've been using this little uh, applicator right here. It has a little needle you can reach in there and get in there. I've been looking at these voltages. One of the things I was looking at here is the uh, on that power amp tube I'm looking at the plate voltage here. Uh, 23 volts is a little high. That would be more like 20 or 15. So we look at the grid real quick here and the grid has about 3 volts on it. It's kind of a no-no. So this Cap is leaking. Um, it's had an electrolytic gooned in there. This is one I tempt in there. This is one that makes me laugh. This resistor. Check that out. And what that is is it's it's in there, but it hasn't been soldered. <laughs> Apparently, we couldn't afford to solder that day. Um. There's some caps here that need to be replaced uh, desperately. This one here, this is the audio bypass on the cathode for the power amp. That's, that's splitting open. There's one here. This is a decoupling cap to ground. It's splitting open. Um, this one, uh, the coupling cap on the grid of the power amp is coming apart. And there was something else I saw here. This this cap is actually right at um, the voltage here is 360 volts and this is rated for 350 so if it blows up any second here which it won't uh, not so good and these resistors look kind of hazy and I don't know I saw basically every paper cap in this thing so this 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 is this is gonna be kind of a just a grumpy pain in the ass. There's one under here. I believe this controls the uh, automatic volume control time constant. So a little bit of work is going to be needed. I thought I saw something else. It was kind of a goon job. Yeah. Every once in a while I see this in Helicrafters. And this is factory, believe it or not. It's just kind of weird. There are you know old dog bone resistors in these babies. This has been replaced. That's the cathode resistor. Um, just kind of keep an eye on this with the voltmeter very carefully while I'm tempting fate here. So, a lot of guys get this done before they even turn it on. They replace all that stuff. Me, I like to tempt fate, and I also like to uh, see what's really broke. And then you know, there's fixing the broke things, and then there's preventive maintenance. So, you no, know, that's fine. Everybody's got their own gig. And I believe this has had the power transformer replaced. This isn't the factory one. This is an aftermarket. So this old baby has had a lot of work and had a lot of tinkering around going on. But it does work. constant for the uh, AVC circuit is very screwed up.
this isn't really one of the great helicrafters, but it's a functional unit. Um, it's pretty basic. It has uh, volume and the automatic volume control on and off, and the BFO, and the noise limiter, and there's some tone shaping here. The BFO controls pitch. There's a standby. This is a mod somebody put in there. Uh, there's a main tuning and then a band spreader, basically band selector and then the uh, sensitivity for the RF section. The back is pretty basic. The antenna connection here, the bandpass switch comes through, clear through, it's supported here. That's the inside of the BFO coil. This apron kind of hangs over the thing, so if you really want to work on these, you might consider taking the whole face off of this very carefully and giving it a good look-see. Well, I just thought I'd show you that real quickie. So that's a little laundry list of things I gotta fix up to get this going. We'll probably fix up this line cord a little bit. Looks maybe a little tired. And there's a, uh, a noise cap buried back in there that'll get replaced. <coughs> we'll give it a little tune up. Or actually, uh, to be real honest, I don't I don't align radios very often. I, what I do is I check their sensitivity and stuff and see where they're at and make a decision from there so you don't see too many IF alignments and all that that you know realistically all that is is a good way to break some of that stuff that stuff's getting a little old and a little fragile and every time you get to tinkering with it you're tempting fate so maybe you don't tinker with it if you don't need it and this is all the just the antenna section the RF amp section the local oscillator section pretty basic and if you get to looking at other helicrafters other bigger machines this layout starts to look a lot alike, so you know, they had a lot of the same stuff going on over and over. Well, the camera's running down, and I am too. I think I'm going to go to bed here pretty soon, so I just thought I'd show you that real quickie tonight, and we'll get the new year off to a good start. Anyway, when we get this fixed up, we'll come back and do a little more to it. How's that sound? Take it easy. Have a good day.